Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an exploded view here of our CO2 rocket. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's come back to our assembly, which we watched in the previous video. All right, and now we're going to go to design. Okay, and we're going to come down to animation. All right, so let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. So when you want to take it apart, you come on over here to transform, click here, and just drag them apart. Okay, something like that. All right, um, that looks a little far. So I'm going to probably do maybe like one inch, hit enter. All right, now let's see the same thing for the fin plastic base. Okay, I'm going to move it something down like that. Okay, let's just go with something even. It says minus 2.11 or minus 2.155. I'm going to just type in minus uh, 2.25, hit enter. Okay, and then Let's go ahead and take apart here our body. Let's just make it one and make that guy minus one. Actually, I think I'm going to go with 0.5. Let's do this. Let's make them both 0.5. So on this one, Bad view. Point five, and then this one here, we're also going to go with minus point five. All right, looks good. All right, so once that's done, okay, you can go ahead and hit play, and sort of watch it all come apart. All right, so now let's come back over here to our workspace and change it to drawing from uh, animation. And we're gonna select 11 inches by eight and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and select, that looks like a good view to me. I'm gonna click like right here, give it some color and hit okay. I'm going to delete my title block. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and create, uh, just show the rocket assembled. So I'm going to come to model, or excuse me, yep, uh, model, and then down to right side view. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. Let's see what that scale looks like. Something like that looks pretty good. Give it some color, hit OK. Now, I got a lot of space to work with, so I'm going to come back here and make them uh, slightly bigger. Let's see if we can get one to one. No, that's too big. So let's try one to 0.8. Whoops, that's way too big. Other way around. 0.8 to one. And I'm going to go a little smaller here. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK or close. I'm going to do the same thing for this guy so they're the same size. 0.7 to 1. Hit close. All right. All right, now let's come up to tables and we're going to balloon and I'm just going to click on that guy and we're going to drag it out. Click on that guy, drag it out and click on the nose cone, drag them out, make them nice and parallel here. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to move this one over like that. Then I'm going to come to tables, balloon, and let's add this last part here. So we have something that looks like this. Okay, and I'm going to move the four out of the way. Okay, and I like to make them nice and parallel here, so. Somewhat parallel, it can be a little tricky. The best thing to do is kind of zoom in and 
when you're moving dimensions and things like this around. So that looks pretty good. All right, now let's come up to the table. We're going to go ahead and insert a table right here. I'm going to double click on it. Let's get rid of description, but I do want material in mass. And then go ahead and hit close. On some explode views, you'll see a section view. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click here to section view. I'm just going to kind of click right here, kind of halfway between, and then click again. Click right there, right click, continue, and drag my mouse down to like right there, and hit OK. Let's move our table down. Move that guy up. All right, so once you've gone through and kind of moved things around and cleaned it all up, don't forget to save it. That'll do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.